Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka OGB Reacts. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and I also stream over here occasionally as well. Today I'm watching a film that I feel is a bit long overdue, considering how many people have been wanting me to watch this one. For this video, I'm watching Arsenic and Old Lace from 1944. Because so many people have been wanting me to watch this film specifically, I'm very excited to watch, but I have have no idea what it's about. And to those of you who have been waiting specifically for this reaction, sorry for the wait. With that, really do hope that you guys specifically enjoy it, and of course I hope everybody else who is watching this enjoys it as well. If you're here watching right now, I really do appreciate you and thank you for watching. And to those of you over on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there as well. Thank you so much for being there, thank you so much for your support, and I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else, on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. I also have a tier over there that is solely for the polls, which are ran every single Friday, and that is $2 a month for that. So yeah, a lot of people have been hyping this film up, so I'm ready to dive on into it. Once again, really do hope that each and every single one of you likes this reaction, and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy! This is a Halloween tale of Brooklyn where anything can happen and it usually does. Well, Halloween has come early. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, the guy with the cheaters. Oh. <laughs> Even in glasses and a hat, you can tell that's Cary Grant. <laughs> the guy who wrote the Bachelor's Bible finally getting hooked himself. No, it's too good to be true. Bachelor's Bible. Good morning, children. Your name, please? Mortimer Brewster. Uh-oh. How's that? Speak up, Sonny. There's oh my god. Right You're who? Oh my god. Mortimer Uh-oh, run away! How can I marry you? Me, the symbol of bachelorhood. I sneered at every love scene in every play. I've written four million words against marriage. Aren't you insulted? Aren't you going to cry? Aren't you going to make a scene? I don't know Mortimer, me either. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> oh. <laughs> The old girls must be kind of hard up, huh? I uh, know. They don't rent rooms. But you can bet if anybody came around looking for a room, they wouldn't go away without a good meal and probably a couple of bucks in their pocket. Hmm. That's just their way of digging up people to do good to. Wow. Well, that's nice. Can I rent a room? No man with this published attitude on marriage should oh. take any man's daughter any place. At any time. The sneezes. I put you to Gentlemen, what news have you brought me? Colonel, we have nothing to report. Uh, the toys are on the chair up here by the library door. Why is he just staring at him like that? That's splendid work you men do, fixing up discarded toys for the kids at camp. Oh, okay, enthusiastic. It's because I've known the Brewster sisters. Is this man okay? Now, Teddy, you promised me you wouldn't do that anymore. But I have to call a cabinet meeting to get the release of those supplies. Now, don't do that again, do you hear me? Huh. He thinks he's Teddy Roosevelt, so what? There's a lot of worse guys he could oh. think he was. Yeah? Young man, let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> Good news for you. You're going to Panama and dig another lock for the canal. Delighted. <laughs> Charge! Jesus Christ. Just look in the window seat. What's going on here? What's up your sleeves, little ladies? But Mortimer, right out here in the open with everyone looking. <laughs> mm, right out here in the open with everyone looking. Mm, let everyone in Brooklyn over 16 look. Mm. Oh my god. We're married. Elaine and I are married. <laughs> You're married. That was wonderful. I'll open a bottle of wine. And of course, a wedding cake. Oh, Donnie, you won't have time to bake a cake. We're going to Niagara Falls. I've got a taxi waiting. Oh, it's still ready. It's been ready. What? <laughs> He really Hello, dresses Mortimer. the part. I'm off to Panama. Goodbye, Mr. President. A new lot for the canal, you know. Well, where is he going to be digging? Oh, dear. 
What? Where? What's Here's a baby picture of your brother Jonathan. Mm hmm. <laughs> put that in the fire with my books. Do you remember how he used to cut worms in two with his teeth? His teeth? When the curtain goes up, the first thing you see is a dead body. Oh. The next thing. Oh. Well, well, oh. Okay. What? Why do you have a dead body in the chest, Auntie? Teddy's got to go to Happydale now, at once. Now he's down in the cellar. Get him up here right away. Oh boy, he no. thinks that Teddy, Teddy did it. But there's a body in the window seat. Yes, dear. We know. <laughs> what? You know. The gentleman died because he drank some wine with poison in it. <laughs> Did well, you the provide the poison? Wine. Well, we put it in wine because it's less noticeable. When it's in tea, it has a distinct odor. You mean you... Who are these ladies? Junior's not going to drag me into another one of those scary pictures. No, they are. You to be clearly nice. killed the man, so I don't know what else could be really scary to you. <laughs> well, we're going to celebrate, dear. Celebrate? But look, Aunt Martha, there's a body in the window seat. Yes. Dear Mr. Hoskins, <laughs> you're too old to be flying off the handle like this. But, but Mr. Hodgkiss! Hoskins, dear. Well, whatever his name is, he's dead and you can't leave him in there. No, Teddy's down in the cellar now, digging the lock. Oh, yep, yep, got it. That's what he is digging. You mean you're going to bury Mr. Hodgkiss in the cellar? Oh, yes, dear. That's what we did with the others. <laughs> Look here, Aunt Martha, you can't... Why are you killing people? Why? Others? Let me see now. This is 11. Isn't it, Abby? Oh, oh no, 11? 12. 12? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Not now. Not now. For heaven's sake, keep your shirt on. <laughs> oh, no, let's see. Where were we? Oh, 12. yeah. Freaking 12? Out. Yes. 12. <laughs> now, tell me, who was the first one? When his heart attack came and he sat there dead in that chair looking so peaceful remember martha we made up our minds then and there that if we could help other lonely old men to find that same peace we would oh okay and then you see teddy came up from digging in panama and he thought mr midgley was a yellow fever victim him. Oh and my that god. Had to be buried immediately. I this is insane. So they're killing lonely men? <sighs> okay. Oh, Judge Coleman. What if I got his number? I mean, no one's probably gonna believe him. Oh, the nice two sweet ladies that live together. No way, right? Look, Judge, uh, I'll tell you why I called you. It's about Teddy. I've got to come over and see you right away. Oh no. Well, I'm afraid he won't oh. wait until tomorrow, Judge. Well, it's practically a matter of life and... Elaine! What in the world is going on around here? I want to know where I stand. Oh, anywhere, but don't stand there. But yeah. darling, I am the fool. You can't marry me one minute and throw me out of the house the next. Oh, darling, I'm not throwing you out of the house. I'm not throwing you out of the house. Will you get out of here? <laughs> I read in that here about a room to rent. Oh, shut up. This poor old man, he just wants a room. I thought if you could sign the papers and I can get Teddy to commit himself, we can get him into Happydale. You will? Fine, I'll be, I'll be right over to see you as soon as I made another call. Oh, uh, why are they... Why is he throwing him under the bus? Damn, they're gonna keep killing people. Oh, how do you do? Come in. I understand you've got a room to rent. Oh, yes. that's why they rent the rooms out. Hello, long distance? How about the Happydale Sanitarium, Happydale, New York? I'd really like to see the room. I don't think I'll like it. The room's uh, upstairs. Won't you try a glass of our wine? Look, operator, what's taking you so long? It's only across the river. I can swim it faster. Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, hello? Uh, <laughs> what? What? They're busy? <gasps> Mortimer. Uh, 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 uh. don't. Uh, I'm nervous now. Don't do that. Oh, God. Mortimer. Oh, God. No! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 Poisoned? You want to be murdered? You want to be killed? Oh, my yeah. oh my God! He didn't let us kill this man. This is developing into a very bad habit. 
Yeah, serial killers. That's the bad habit. <laughs> this is insane. This is so wacky. Well, I, I'd hope we wouldn't have him for some time yet. Well, you see, Mr. Brewster, we have several Theodore Roosevelt's at the moment, and it would lead to trouble. Oh, trouble. Oh. Now, if he thought that... Uh, <laughs> well, Mr. Brewster, we're a bit short of Napoleons at present. Bonaparte. Have you had the papers drawn up? No, but I'm going to attend to that right now. I'll call you back as soon as I have them. Oh, now, look, darlings, I wouldn't want anything in the world to happen to either of you. Well, what on earth could happen to us? Well, darling... Prison? Death? By hanging or electric chair or something? Yes, call me a cab! Yeah, okay. Hey, cab! Uh, Give me a cab. Oh, yes, here you are. So I'm not with, with you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can go faster that way. Sure. Wait a minute. What am I doing? Hey! <laughs> Mr. Hopkins' hat all mucked up. I... The fact that they're just like, oh, everything's fine and dandy and peachy. They're bad shit. Oh, I'll go, dear. Happy. We promised Mortimer we wouldn't let anyone come in. Well, we just have to pretend we're not at home. Uh... Hello? Um, what? As if we were expected. Yes. Uh, good um, who are you? What are you doing? <laughs> no, you should probably let them drink it. Eh, whatever. I'm Jonathan, you know. Wow. Your nephew, Jonathan. Have you been in an accident? My face. Don't worry. The last five years, I give him three different faces. I give him another one right away. Oh. Well, Martha, we mustn't let what's on the stove boil over. We got to find some place for Mr. Spinazzo, too. Forget Mr. Spinazzo. But, Johnny, we can't leave a dead body in the rumble seat. You shouldn't have killed him. A lot of dead bodies, huh? Tell Martha and Abby I'll be over this week. Been feeling rather lonely. No, no, oh no! Never tell no, me no, not no, no, no. Are you a drinking man? Why, no. I never indulge. Uh -huh. Good. Well, then you'll live longer. Of course, we're in wine now. No, no, for heaven's sake, no wine, no wine. <laughs> and now, General, we will both go to Panama and inspect the new lock. This is not your home, and I'm afraid you can't stay here. Uh. Perhaps we'd better let them stay here tonight. Uh. Hey, Johnny, Johnny, come here quick. Uh oh. See the hole he's digging? Four feet wide, six feet long. Just fits. You'd think he knew we were bringing Mr. Spinazzo along. That's hospitality, huh? Well. Rather a good joke on my hands. They're living in a house with a body buried in the cellar. <laughs> we'll bring the car up between the cemetery and the house, and after they've gone to bed, we'll bring Mr. Spinazzo in through the window. It's just body number 13. When everything's dark here. You come up and take the poor man down to the canal. Where is the poor devil? In the window seat. Seems to be spreading. We've never had yellow fever there before. <laughs> this is so messed up. You know, he's really very nice looking, considering that he's a Methodist. <laughs> wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, he really looks like Frankenstein's monster. Good night. Now we'll all go to bed. I'll uh, wait until you're up and then turn up the light. Oh God, they're both trying to hide a body. <laughs> Uh-oh. And Abby. <laughs> Mission is a go, Teddy. I mean, you know what, going backwards I think is probably the best idea for that. Well, he's already dead, so I guess it doesn't matter much. Help me, Johnny. He's so heavy. Now I've got him. Uh, hey, Johnny, somebody's at the door. Who is it? Is that you, Teddy? Who are you? I'm Elaine oh, Harper. I'm next no. door. You're Jonathan. Oh, you've heard of me. Yes, they talk about you. Now that I know who you are, I'll just be running along if you'll kindly unlock the door. Yeah, it's not worth keeping someone around, so just let her go. I think she's dangerous. 
No visitors. It's going to be a private funeral. I've got... Oh. Miss Abby! Oh, Miss oh, I'm glad she escaped. Oh, yep, it's all crashing down. Does he have a gun on him? Mortimer! Holy... What's that? <laughs> you can't just point at someone and be like, what's that? <laughs> it is Jonathan. I'm glad you remember, Mortimer. We invited Jonathan and Dr. Einstein to stay. Oh. What? <laughs> what? Oh, no, you don't. I'm staying here tonight. Johnny can sleep on a sofa and I sleep on a window seat. Nothing to do. Window seat? Oh, no. Oh, Certainly no. not on the window seat. I'm going to sleep on the window seat. Wow. This is so messy. Here's $10. Go out and haunt yourself a hotel. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Mortimer, you know what I do to people who order me around. What? Does he just have no feeling in his foot? Oh, hello, Elaine. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, Mortimer. What's the matter, darling? What is it? I almost got killed. Killed? And Abby and Martha. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Not them. No. It was Jonathan. Hello, operator. Get me Happy Dale 270, please. But, Mortimer, oh. didn't you yes, hear what I was just saying? <laughs> Your own brother, Jonathan, he was trying to strangle yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. This is important. Oh Hello. my god, Mortimer. You can take your honeymoon, your wedding ring, your taxi, your window seat, and put them in a barrel and push them all over Niagara Falls. And that is done. Nice, Mortimer. Why is he so gung-ho on putting his brother in that sanatorium now? That's the one thing I'm kind of confused about. Yes, different body. He got there's another one! <laughs> Because he knows that both of them have been killing those men, so why why is he constantly wanting him gone, his brother? Who is that in the window seat? We told you, Mr. Uh -oh. Hoskins. This is not Mr. Hoskins. Nope. Another one, there. another man. Who can that be? <laughs> We've always wanted to hold a double funeral. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that's a mood. You come straight along here. You just look and see what's in that window seat. Oh, no! No, no, Abby, don't. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> I'm giving you a chance to get away and take the evidence with you. You can't ask for more than that. Yeah, really. All right, in that case, I'll have to call the police. Put down that telephone, Mortimer. Yep. Oh no, they're already oh. here. Well, you got company? Oh, I'm sorry I disturbed you. Go, come in! Now listen, Jonathan, this is your last chance. I'll keep O'Hara busy in the kitchen and give you a chance to get out. All three of you. You, Dr. Einstein, and Spinelza. Mortimer, Because I... if you don't leave here in five minutes, I'll bring in Officer O'Hara and introduce him to Mr. Spinelza. Mr. Brewster, my place. Right with you, O'Hara. Right with you. Right with you. <laughs> hey, Johnny, Johnny, come quick. What's the matter? You know that hole in the cellar? Yes. Well, we got an ace in the hole. Oh, uh, of course. Oh, Jesus. And now he's got something on them. If you tell O'Hara what's in the window seat, I'll tell him what's down in the cellar. Oh. Cellar. There's an elderly gentleman down there who seems to be very dead. What were you doing down the cellar? Oh, what is he doing in the cellar? Now what are you going to tell O'Hara? And oh, impasse. You ring in, I'll see you later. Okay. Now, you won't stand me up, will you, Mr. Bruce? Yeah, uh, no. This is a great play. You'll like it. I'm oh, sure. I see you down here. Oh, He's going to stand you up. When I come back, I expect to find you gone. He is Wait so for me. messy right now. There's a friend of Mortimer's downstairs waiting for him. He must mean Mr. Hoskins. Mr. Hoskins? You know about what's down there? Of course we do. And he's no friend of Mortimer's. He's one of our gentlemen. Your gentleman? Yes. Besides, there's no room for Mr. Spinalzo. The cellar's crowded already. Crowded with oh what? Oh, my God. There are 12 graves down there now. You mean that you and Aunt Martha have murdered Murdered? Well, certainly not. It's one of our charities. Why, what we've been charity. doing is a mercy. You got 12 
big up, Trout. Wow. The old ladies is just as good as you are. Oh, God. <laughs> So the family has 24. Fantastic. Mr. President, the doctor would like to have a few words with you in private. Certainly. Welcome to Washington, doctor. I know he wants, again, I know he wants to get him just away, whatever, in general, but I don't know. He's so adamant about it. Well, so far, so good. Uh-oh. Not so good. <clears throat> yeah, you forgot your now wife. <laughs> you know there's a lot going on, but come on. Look, I probably should have told you this before, but you see... Well, insanity runs in my family. It practically <laughs> gallops. I guess so. Look at your so. aunt. They're Brewsters, aren't they? Uh, and the sweetest, sanest people I've ever known. Sane is a word. That's not the correct word, but yeah. I'm crazy too, but kiss me. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Anytime you're in Washington, drop in to see me at the White House. Those papers. No, those away, papers. Oh, papers, papers, yes. Yes, I can commit him to any place. Oh, my. See, didn't I tell you? Oh, oh. oh. No, no, don't worry about that. Just go on signing oh. the papers. No, 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 don't do that, Mr. President. But I cannot sign any proclamation without consulting my cabinet. This must be secret. Well, if it's a secret proclamation, it has to be signed in secret. Of course, Mr. President. Uh. I'll have to put on my signing clothes. Oh, you already oh, have them Jesus. on, Mr. President. So I have. Wait here. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Get up house now, will you, please? Huh? What are you saying? Speak up, Sonny. I can't hear Johnny's you. Johnny's in a bad mood. You get out. When you get out of prison, you have yourself wheeled over to the Garrick Theater. Now, in it, there's a man. Now, listen to this. Now, he knows he's in a house with murderers, mm -hmm. so he ought to know he's in danger. He's even uh, been warned to get out of the house. And does he go? Yes. No, he doesn't. He stays. Oh, no. <laughs> well, oh, what do you think they used to trust him up with? Oh, what? The curtain cord. The <laughs> 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 I can't believe that all of this is happening. All he has to do is look around, but does he? No. Unbelievable. He sits there waiting to be tied up and gay. <laughs> the big dog. Yeah, idiot. Yep, yep, yep. Now, doctor, we go to work. Oh, but, you, but Johnny, I cannot see this without the drink. It Pull yourself together, Doctor. Uh-oh, is he gonna drink the wine? Johnny, you remember when we came in here, there was some wine. They, they took it. Where did they put it? Yes. All right, now don't make any indication that there's something wrong with the wine, please. Prost. Are you kidding me? No! Quick, quick, yes, I'll help you with that. And he's back. Yep. No face stealing for you right now. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. No. What? You've got to hear the plot. Oh, my God almighty. All right, 25 years pass. Well. This guy's. Yep. Little do I know it, but there's a dope fiend with a long knife trailing after me. Yep. I'm in great danger. <laughs> Yes, you are. All of a sudden, the fire breaks out. What an effect! The firemen oh. rush in, and who do you think's leading them? <gasps> Braces myself against the wall, and I says, Come in! Oh, no. Oh, hello, boys. The colonel blew that bugle again. I heard him. The neighbors are all phoning in. The lieutenant is on the warpath. He says we've got to put him away someplace. Oh. Now, who the heck is this? Tell the lieutenant he can call off the big manhunt. We found him. Oh, At the Brewster shit. house. All right. You got me. I suppose <laughs> you and my stool pigeon brother will split the reward. Reward? reward. Well, there's 13 bodies buried in the cellar. Oh, no. Yes, 13. Oh, be no. careful what you say about your aunts. They happen to be friends of ours. Look at that puss. He looks like Boris Karloff. Don't! Oh, 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 goodness. Oh. What a mess. Yeah, a little higher, please, buddy. Thank you very much. Get him, Pat. My dog. Oh, that won't have any effect. I try to force oh. oh, it did. Isn't that amazing? Oh, God. Now what? Who is this? All I said was that he looked like Boris Karloff. Boris? Turn him over. Kind of think he's wanted somewhere. 
Certainly he's wanted somewhere, in Indiana. He escaped from the prison for criminal insane. He's a lifer. That's my brother. Yep. For Pete's sake, that's the way they described him. No wonder Brooklyn's in the shape it's in, with flatheads like you on the force. Falling for a story like that. Thirteen bodies buried down in the cellar. But there are thirteen bodies in the cellar. Oh, Who no. are you? I'm President Roosevelt. He's scaring the neighbors. What, with that bugle and all? And that cockeyed story about thirteen bodies being buried... You know, I, I've been without sleep for 48 hours. I'm liable to think anything. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't uh, think about it. These papers ain't no good. Why not? He signed a Theodore Roosevelt. Oh. Uh, I mean, that's not surprising. Oh, so many things happened in this. <laughs> the name Booster is code for Roosevelt. Give me that pen. This is fun. Here are the papers, all signed. Well, you can take them away, Super. Mr. President, I have good news for you. Your term of office is over. Now I go on my hunting trip to Africa. Is he trying to move into the White House before I've moved out? Who, Mr. President? Taft. <laughs> Goodbye, Aunt Abby. <clears throat> Goodbye, Aunt Martha. I'm on my way to Africa. Isn't it wonderful? Charge! Yep. Oh, dear. And Happy Dale is full of staircases. <laughs> but things are going to get worse. We're liable to be put to the trouble of having to dig up your cellar. Oh, oh cellar. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, he's been no. telling around there's 13 bodies buried in the cellar. No. Nope. Well, there are 13 bodies in our cellar. What? Yes. You just ask our nephew, Mortimer. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mortimer, you behave yourself. You know very well there are 13 bodies down in our cellar. Certainly oh there are 13 God. bodies down in the cellar, and there are hundreds more up in the attic, Captain. Ah, human them. Human them. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind him at all. Yeah. He's, got mad yeah. he's just like, oh, he's crazy, but you guys killed. Twelve people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're catching on. It's a joke. It's all a joke. Oh, Jesus. Well, Teddy committed himself. Couldn't they commit themselves? All they have to do is sign the papers. Certainly. Oh, well, if we can go with Teddy, we'll sign the papers. Oh, come along, Where are they? Yes, we are. I, I... Oh, girl, don't even... Don't know. Yep, great. It's all about to go to shit again. It's absolutely compulsory that we have the signature of a physician. Oh, a doctor. Oh, Dr. Einstein. Come here and sign some papers, please. His accomplice description is right on a circular. It's on a desk in front of you. Read it to me, will it? Just, you know what? You know what? You just yeah. leave. I'm 40 pounds. Pop eyes. Oh, no. Talk with a German accent. It's all right, Lieutenant Rooney. The doctor here has completed the signatures. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Doc. You've done Brooklyn a great service. <laughs> Dr. Einstein! <laughs> now, Mr. Witherspoon. No, no, you're Mr. Oh, my God! You sign as next of kin. Will they investigate those signatures? You signed as next of kin. Yeah. Well, what's wrong about that, darling? Well, Mama, you tell me. Whoa, what? <laughs> What? Well, you're not really a Brewster. Uh, huh? What? I'm not really a Brewster? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, uh, he's relieved. <laughs> Elaine! Elaine! Where oh, are you? Can you hear me? Boy. I'm not really a Brewster! <laughs> Mortimer! Mortimer! And there it is. Mortimer, it's true! It's true! I saw them! Mortimer, it's true! Oh, no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, you idiot. Time to go. Wee. Stop. Nope, that's it. Time to go to Niagara Falls. I'm not a cab driver. I'm a coffee pot. Oh my 
everything in in the noggin is just it has melted. It has left the building because what did I just watch? <laughs> so much happened. <laughs> So much was packed in. It was one thing after another, after another, just back to back to back events and people and things. Oh my God, it was just non-stop. And it was all ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous, wacky, insane, very entertaining, absolutely. I mean, this was great. Of course, I really enjoyed it. But my brain is non-existent. I literally need a moment to process exactly what happened because there was just so much. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. All right. Once again, what the hell was that? <laughs> I did not expect this to be as just convoluted and absolutely bonkers as it was. You had the one brother thinking he was Theodore Roosevelt. You had the other brother who was a literal serial killer. And then you had the ants who were also serial killers. <laughs> and the whole trying to get the paper signed and getting his, his brother basically like, you know, put away. And then, you know, the cops and the investigators at the end and uh, just the whole covering up of both murders that have been happening just that all of that all of it so much stuff <laughs> and it was just wacky it was just absolutely ridiculous to watch every single thing that happened but of course it was good of course it was entertaining absolutely ridiculous but super entertaining and fun at so many points i felt like i was literally going insane just watching everything happen i feel like every single person that was in this movie was absolutely exhausted by the end of it especially cary grant but the ants got away with killing 12 people because nobody believed them, basically. Nobody outside of the immediate people like the two brothers and whatnot. So they're going to Happy La La Land with Theodore. Jonathan is going to prison. The doctor escaped and Mortimer will move on hopefully quickly. <sighs> so yeah, this was a lot in the way that it was just so back to back to back different things and conversations and just whatnot. But again, I think it was really well done and everything just kind of ended up working. And of course, Cary Grant was great. <laughs> Super entertaining, absolutely wacky, ridiculous, bonkers, insane. But I really did enjoy myself and I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did enjoy, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And of course, if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And to those of you who are already on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you wanted to find me outside of youtube you can absolutely do so you can find me pretty much anywhere at ogb reacts i'm mainly on twitter but i'm also on instagram tiktok and twitch as well oh yeah this was just so much <laughs> so much ridiculousness wrapped up into a two-hour movie that was absolutely non-stop but I really enjoyed it. Once again, really do hope that you all enjoyed this reaction, and I hope to see you all in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Okie dokie, toodaloo, adios, and goodbye! Bye.